Hey guys, and welcome to another exciting episode of Let's Play Tabletop. Uh, this time we are going to be going through uh, Layton's Mystery Journey, Catriel and the Millionaire's Conspiracy Deluxe Edition. It's a really long title. Uh, this is a port of a Nintendo 3DS game uh, in the Professor Layton series. And uh, I have never played a Professor Layton game before this one. I always meant to, but I don't know what the first one is. It's also on DS. It's a little hard to find anymore. Uh, I mean, I know I could buy it online, but I don't know. I just hadn't gotten there to it. Um, but then this one came out on Switch. Uh, I was able to get it uh, on sale, so it's a little bit, it was a little bit cheaper, and I figured I'd go ahead and give it a shot. Go through and and see what this game has to offer. Now, I do gotta say, I kind of like all these uh, anime cutscenes and stuff. It's really nice. Uh, it's also done by Level 5, who I believe are the ones that do uh, Yokai Watch, and those are pretty good games too. Um, I gotta be honest, I think this is the first time I've actually started it up after starting the game. Uh, so this menu is a little weird. What are bonuses? Is it just the... Oh, okay, I see. I can just go to the museum. <laughs> Speaking of the Professor Layton series, I guess uh, I can use my points and see stuff from all the other games. Which I know nothing about. All I know is that was the first one on the 3DS. Uh, I think that one's also 3DS. And the rest of these were original DS. I don't know, what can I... I've got 60 points and everything cost 80. Alright, that's terrific. Uh, looks like that's pretty much the case for all this, isn't it? Uh, well... I'm, just, I'm not even going to try that last one. Uh, Alright. Enough stalling. Let's get to the actual game. Uh, it's kind of weird. It's, um... I don't know if any of you have ever played Detective Pikachu, but it's similar to that. Uh, it's a point-and-click. Kind of look through, uh, find clues and stuff. Oh, look at this. It gives, like, a whole wrap-up to what I did last time. Uh, Catriel and company meet a witness who saw both incidents, but he couldn't make out the culprit because it was too far to the other side and everything was blurry. Uh, basically, I didn't actually read it. Nah, that's, that's basically the gist of, of the last things that I did. I did that, I went back to Chancellor Lane, I uh, checked on some stuff, but I would never talked to this guy who looks like he's in the Beatles. Oh, can you read that on there? I can't read that. I guess I could read it. <laughs> Probably make this video more interesting. Oh, we were just there and it was a lark. There are oodles of people gathering for this evening's show of uh, devotion. It sounds like I'm having a hard time reading this. It's it's kind of far. It does sound interesting, but all that sentiment is too mushy for me. Uh, open bracket. I don't want to turn a, up at the show of devotion on my own. Close bracket. Oh, I see. Uh, yes, I understand. That's uh, so all he's got to say for himself. All right. Uh, I think I'm actually supposed to go into the shop. Where we go in here? Uh, hopefully I can get to a puzzle pretty quick. That's the best parts to play in this game, and not that they're endless chatter. Look at this range! Complete outfits, hats, accessories! I'm sure you'd look delightful in anything at all, miss. I'd love to browse, but the investigation has to come first at the moment. Let's ask here if anyone knows anything. No, none of these people know anything. We definitely don't need to ask. Ooh, there's a... Click that thing. Uh, 
garbage. I don't ever read like half of this crap because it doesn't really matter, does it? If it's not a puzzle or directly related to the story, I don't need it. <gasps> There's a puzzle! Alright, we got it. Hmm. Big mirror, let me see. I saw that, Cheryl. You were checking yourself out in the mirror, making sure your coat looks sleek and your ears aren't inside out. No, something just caught my eye, that's all. Ah, it's a puzzle. Perfect timing. I was starting to feel like a bored collie. Border collie, I don't know. This is thing. Stuff. Alright. So this this is basically the main gameplay to this game. Uh, is just this long list of different types of puzzles. Some of them kind of piss me off because they're... <laughs> Uh, you have to pay attention to the wording, and they're more like riddles than they are puzzles, and it's stupid. And I've used anytime I've used a hit, it's been on one of those. If it's one of these where you have to like move a piece, uh, to complete a, a picture or something, or move uh move certain things to line up and make sure all the boxes are lit, that kind of stuff, I get that. But when they try to throw me off with wordplay, and I'm already not seeing words from a distance, it's hard to do. See, this, this lot, hold on, I can't read, can I read it on there? No, I can't read it on there. It's not love football, but their team is full of such useless players that they're known as H10, the hopeless 10. Yes. They only have 10 players. Can you move one match to turn them into an 11 player team? Press and hold A to pick up a match so you can move it around. L and R will rotate it. So, well, I can only move a single match, is that what it is? Pick up one match and they'd be an 11 person team. How do we that? No, it didn't do anything. Okay, how do we make them eleven? Is it Is that what they want? No, because there's all this other crap. Huh? I don't. No, I want to grab the other match. Hmm. Do we do that? Nope. I don't want to have to use a hint while I'm showing you guys this game. But I don't actually understand what match I'm supposed to move. Hmm. <laughs> Fine. I guess we'll use a hint because I'm not. I'm not seeing it. Got forty-four coins. It won't kill me. I guess. There's no need to rotate the match. Okay, that's good to know. So, huh. Could I not have been right then? Oh, ha, <laughs> okay, I, I feel dumb now. 11 plus 0, it would have been 11. Yep. Please ignore all of what you just saw. Oh, you know what? It, that's not actually what I did. Huh. They messed up. Hmm, that was a decent puzzle worth doing. Now then, 
Where's that annoying tuft? What? We've been doing this for what, like 10 minutes now? Yeah, I'll, uh, we'll just skip the nonsensical chatters. Yeah, I guess there's really not that much to when you're not doing a puzzle. Actually, you know what? Hold on, no, 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 that's not what I want. Let's go back. There are daily puzzles. Let's let's just do one of those. It'll be a lot more entertaining than anything else I can do here. Um, let's see, it's snowing now. Get all the snowmen built correctly, or heads will roll. That's a bit graphic. Let's see. Roll the balls of snow around to make snowmen. Use the directional buttons to move the girl around, pushing snowballs as she goes. When two or more snowballs meet, a snowman is born. Is that how it's done? I thought there was a snowman stork that, like, brought the... You know what? Never mind. Uh, the girl can only push, not pull, and she can't push balls of snow over tree stumps or outside of the puzzle area. Well, that's because she's obviously not trying hard enough. This would be so much easier if she would just put some muscle into it. And one last rule, every single snowball needs to become part of a snowman. Snow, now you know the rules. Let's roll. Okay. Well, there's only the... Uh oh. Okay. So then I gotta push this one up. Yay! I feel like there should have been more snowballs and it would have been more of a challenge. And then again, I'm also only like two chapters into this game, so I guess that kind of makes sense. And that's also only five puzzles into daily puzzles. Oh, look, I got more museum, museum points, but I don't have enough to buy anything. It's terrific. I'm off by, like, five. All right. Let's try this one. What is this one? Where do they get these plumbers? This water pipe needs fixing on the flower, or the flowers for wilt, because I can't read, apparently. I will definitely give this a shot. Puzzle number six. Whee! Spin the pieces of pipe around to make one continuous circuit for the water to flow. You can rotate a section by 90 degrees simply by selecting it. Wow. Perfect the plumbing to save the sunflowers. But what if I want the sunflowers to die? Also, where am I supposed to get the water to? Well, that tells me it's like this. Okay, nope. Can't be that. Uh. Huh. Okay. Not that either. Hmm. Still really help if I knew where this was supposed to go. That? No. Couldn't be. Where do they get flowers? Um. Is it that they're supposed to all connect? Is that what I'm missing? Oh! Well, that seems unnecessary, because they were all connected together, and they're not actually connected to a water source. So, how does that work? Oh well. Alright, so that's that's about 15 minutes. We can call it, because 
that's I mean that's what you're basically getting. Um, the best parts of this game so far I've just kind of been watching, watching the story basically. Uh, if you're not into the point and click mystery solving kind of thing, uh, you'd hate about half this game. And if you hate brain teasing puzzles, you'd hate the other half. Uh, yeah. Not sure what I was going for there. But I, I don't know. I, I've been enjoying it so far. That's all that matters. I don't care if you people enjoy it. You came to watch, so you you see it. You know what you're getting into. Um, but yeah, uh, so this is episode three. This was episode three. Uh, I will try to get a few more out, uh, but it's already almost four o'clock today. So with how long it's taking to upload... I might get to episode 5 before the end of the night. Which wouldn't be a bad start. Um, and again, if there are certain games you want to see, uh, definitely comment below, and if I've got it or I can get access to it, I will do an episode for it. Uh, if you want to see other types of videos, definitely let me know, and I will work towards making that kind of content. Uh, because, I, like I said, I don't know what to do with this channel. It was made for voice acting. And when I can't voice act, then there's nothing here. But there are, there are 600 of you guys subscribed. I definitely want to make sure I'm making content that you guys want to see. So, I mean, if it even just happens to be we want to see more Feral Pride discussions or something... Uh, I can do that. I can't make episodes because I don't create the episodes. I just play multiple characters in the series. But, but I mean, we could talk about it. There's only so much to say, but I could say the things and do the stuff. Uh, just whatever. Uh, so let me know your thoughts in the comments section. Uh, like the video, subscribe. Whatever. Don't. I don't... Nah, I'm kidding. I actually do care a little bit. Uh, otherwise, I wouldn't be doing this stuff. So, yeah, I will. Uh, I will catch you guys next time.